So, After Effects don't support STMAPs by default, but there is two plugins which can help us with that. The one is FTUV Pass, you can get it from iScripts.com, and second one is called Remap, it's from Revision Effects bundle for After Effects. They work pretty much the same, so you can use any of them, but for this video I will show example only with the second one. Here is our simple After Effects composition. The first layer is actual image which we want to distort and the second layer is our STMAP. And to be able to distort the image we should apply our plugin not on the footage layer but on our STMAPs. And then we will be able to choose our footage layer. If you turn the layer on and off you can already see that distortion is happening. One important thing to mention, your STMAPs should be rendered as EXR in 32 bits images. And to be able to use that correctly in After Effects, you should go to the footage settings, go to color management and here you should tick the box preserve RGB. If you don't, you will have very strange results in your composition. So, And also your composition obviously should also be 32 bits. The other important thing we should remember is resolution. If we use an STMAPS for redistorting our rendered CG, for example, you know that you should render that with overscan. But After Effects don't know what overscan is, so we just have to work with slightly bigger resolutions. Your rendered CG and your STMAPS should always have the same amount of pixels. For example, here our final composition resolution is UHD, but you can see that my STMAP is rendered in slightly bigger one. In my example we are not working with CG, it's just an image for demonstration and if you will go inside the first precomp you will see that I set the scale to 105, just to cover the extra resolution. If I set it back to default and go back to main composition, now we see that we start to get in empty spaces from the sides, that's why we always need to remember to render with extra resolution. I hope this video will be helpful for somebody, because when I first tried to figure out how STMAPS works in After Effects, it was kind of a mess, and now at least it's all in one place. Thanks for watching and bye!